Good morning everyone. So today is Sunday the 22nd of December and I have taken a couple of days off vlogging and now I'm going to be back daily vlogging up until Christmas Day. Well I film Christmas Day but that doesn't go up on Boxing Day. Um, so yeah I'm going to be vlogging for the next like four days straight. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the pre-recorded content that I got out you haven't missed anything since I haven't been daily vlogging. Yesterday I had work all day, 9 till 5, uh, at my desk job and then we had the Coat Tree family get together which is my side of the family. It was literally me and the LMP and then three of my family members because I've got a really small family. Um, so that was yesterday, it was really nice coming home and catching up with my family before Christmas and we had a little takeaway and stuff which was really nice um, and today I have got work so it's Sunday, I'm working 9 till 1 and then I've got to do my festive food shop which I'm hoping will be okay, I don't think I've ever done my food shop with Neil before but just for moral support I think <laughs> it needs to be done as a whole um, so we've got that, just final little niggly bits that need to get done, like the food shopping and making sure everything's sorted because we've got a busy next couple of days, like pretty much everyone. Um, so yeah, it's five to eight, so I need to get a wiggle on, I need to have my breakfast, get ready, get dressed. I don't think I'm going to do makeup today, just because I really can't be bothered. Uh, and I don't need to. When I work in the office, it literally is just me in the office. Um, I need to make my lunch and stuff. Uh, and I'll be working a little bit late tonight or t this afternoon because I need to get my cleaning done as well. Um, so I should be done by like half one, quarter to two, which is, is fine. Go to the shops, lose our lives. Don't need that much. Uh, I also last night went to the Sainsbury's clothing sale. Uh, that was quite good, and I'll show you what I got later on because obviously I need to get ready for work. So I thought I'd just sit down and introduce the video. Breakfast. Are you sure you want frosties? That is why. Um, so we've had breakfast dilemma this morning and it's just, it just got to the point where I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm going to work, I can't be dealing with this. I don't know, I work in admin and I basically work giving engineers plumbing and drainage jobs. I've got four men across the board, two in Norfolk, two in Suffolk, one for each side, and I basically just give them their work, speak to customers. It's a pretty cushy job, stressful at the moment with this time of year, everyone wanting everything done there then yesterday because of Christmas, but I enjoy it, I am getting a headache though, I can feel it.
So I'm home from work, pop next door to see them for their little Christmas get together. So I've done that, um, done some housework and now getting my bags ready to go to Aldi. Not gonna lie, neon pay aren't in the best of moods today, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm trying to be as upbeat as I can. Uh, my food shop list is written. Uh, we need to go to Tesco's. Probably good to go today, but we'll go tomorrow. Um, just to get some like fresher bits. Like, is fresher a word? The oh, woman's having an absolute nightmare with a smart car and her alarm going off. Why don't I just... I can't swear because I'm in trouble. There's a space over there. Yeah, I don't know what this idiot's doing. Oh, She's sat know. here. Um. Oh. Hang on, careful. Sake. You're in a good mood. Oh, God! Oh. I told you. <laughs> we are now home from food shopping. It wasn't too bad. Um, it was busy but it was manageable and everyone was just heads down, let's get our stuff and let's go. So we spent £34. Um, this isn't all of our snacks, I've been buying snacks um, for the past couple of weeks like Pringles and crisps and nibbly bits and sausage rolls and things like that. So I reckon with everything that we've already got plus going to the butchers for our sausages and pigs and blankets and Tesco's on tomorrow, I reckon we would have spent a total of £50, which I don't think is that bad, considering we've also got food to see us through until the new year and just general living anyway, it's not just Christmas. So, um, I didn't actually need that much veg. I've already got carrots in the fridge and um, they didn't have white cabbage, so I need to get some of that from Tesco's. But we've got ice bag lettuce, strawberries, cherry tomatoes, parsnips, potatoes, these were 19p. Broccoli, I thought that it was really small this year, um, but they've got broccoli, cucumber, coleslaw for like dinners, like jacket potatoes, so I'm gonna have for my dinner tonight. Um, they didn't have the value one, I don't really care about cold sorry is what it is, but I've got the fancy one. Cheese, and then we've got some like cold meat, so I've got some ham, German smoked ham, and uh, peppered salami. I've got a pizza for a dinner at some point. Uh, onion and garlic dip and red pepper hummus. I wanted the normal one, but they didn't have it, so I just got that one. Uh, chicken gravy, we've got the Bisto one in the cupboard here, the um, like the best one, um, but just I find sometimes that's a bit runny, so to thicken it up we've got that. Cabanara for pea for pasta dinners and um, pickled onions, two things of cat food for roux. Um, I definitely didn't need this, but it was only 49p, um, reduced from 3 99 so I just thought it'd be quite good to have. <laughs> so I've got that microwave safe and freezer safe and things like that. Um, our meat this year, we are doing a chicken. This is advanced for us. We normally just get chicken breast, um, but we've gone up in the world and we are having a chicken in a bag. We don't do like fancy meats. Um, and this was like three pounds nine i think it was we don't do turkey it's too dry um so we've got and then i've got some chicken snacks for pea tin foil yorkshire puddings yogurts for pea neil wanted these chocolate eclairs they go in the freezer i don't like cream or anything so they're his two packs of part baked rolls you get four in a pack just for like buffet food two loads of pancakes because i love pancakes 
Um, so we've got the uh, lemon and raisin and the normal scotch pancakes. Wraps again for dinners one night. Whoa, that was close. Uh, digestives for Neil. Cookies. Uh, chocolate little pudding pot for Neil. Whole load of crisps. So we've got Quavers. That's what I'm going to get. And hula hoops for P. Sugar. Black currant drinks for P. And then we've got, ironically, they had a mould and mildew remover, which we've actually been using, reduced to 19p, so I thought, why not? Bottles, water, um, what's this? Coke, and then I've got cherry Coke here as well. I really like their cherry Coke. Milk, I've said sugar, and cat biscuits. So, like I said, all of that came to just over £34. Like I said, I've got, like, all fruit juices, like apple and orange got loads of drink we've got tango and stuff seven up and i've got oranges apples and all of that good stuff in the fridge so we didn't actually need too much now i need to put all of this away and then i'm going to chill with some biscuits watching tv with a cup of tea before dinner hello hey girl, what are you doing Molly, you come in with me. Come on in. Come on. Good girl. Come on in. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Have you eaten three of those cookies already and a digestive? You've eaten four biscuits. I could have demolished that. <laughs> We are now going to sit down and watch. Push what is this called? Home Alone. Home Alone, that's right. Press the middle button. This one? Middle one down. Can I, have, can I have the um, one on the end? No, yeah, I want to try one of those, please. Is it like a shortbread with biscuit base? It's like shortbread and chocolate, you nutter. That's what I meant. <laughs> Oh, please leave her. She's just got comfy. No, no, she wants to sit with me. Dinner is done, it's quarter to seven, I was about to say quarter to eight then. Um, so washing up and all of that stuff is done. We have put tinsel out with a book. And we've got one more to go, and then it's done. Um, Cause obviously she doesn't receive one on actual Christmas Eve because she gets her Christmas Eve box. Um, Neil's just giving Pete a bath and a hair wash. I have put a load of washing in the tumble dryer and I need to go and get my nail stuff because ooh, I'm doing my nails tonight. Obviously, I need to get them nice for Christmas. So, um, if anyone is wondering about my whole gel nail situ, I've done a video on it. Just type in like gel nail how to Phoebe and me. I don't know. Um, so I need to do whoop, my toes as well as my hands, hands, fingers tonight. So I don't know what colour to go for. Oh god, it's so cold. Um, it's been an interesting evening. Not gonna lie, I don't tend to sugarcoat everything on my channel, as you all well know just going through a really difficult time of constant negotiation with P like she's testing the boundaries and it's just it's really difficult at the moment it's like we're doing everything we can to obviously make everything 
festive and fun and giving her like food that she wants to eat like I said this morning and um, at the moment it just seems like nothing's enough it's obviously just just the age and the stage that she's going through I know that we're gonna have bumps in the road the entire time so this is just another one of those bumps right I'm armed with all my stuff Definitely need to work on my muscle strength. I'm so weak. So it's a lot later now. It's quarter to nine. And I am now about to wrap up this video. So I was just stroking real on the floor. Um, I have done my toes. I've done them in this red. It's like a pinky red. I quite like it. The dark red that I had on last time, it didn't last at all. And normally I can get away with putting my toenails like twice a month. No once every two months so I've gone for like a longer wearing one uh, and I went for dark green on my nails I haven't done the best job um my thumb isn't great it's not gonna focus I don't think um but I'm happy with the colour and now I'll get asked it's a blue sky A23 no A023 is the colour there we go it's not going to focus. Um, so it's like a nice dark green. So I did base coat, two coats of the colour and then one top coat. And whilst I was doing that, I have been watching The Crown because I'm obsessed with that. I'm on series one, episode nine. So I'm late to the party when it comes to that, but it's so good. Um, and I also had a shower. Just look at Rue. <laughs> literally looks like she's been shot um so i'm now going to wrap up the video but before i do i thought i'd quickly sit down and show you what i got from the sainsbury's clothing sale yesterday um obviously i wasn't vlogging yesterday because i had a day at work and things like that um but myself and ellie went to the sainsbury's clothing sale that they have normally towards like the last weekend of december not December, the last weekend before Christmas, and they do, I think it's 70% off, or up to 70% off their children's, or just their Christmas line, like clothing line throughout. Um, Ellie's got some bits for me that she went way before me. I was obviously stuck at work. Um, so she got me some bits for the baby, which I'm sure I'll show you at some point. Um, and then obviously bits for herself and vice versa. I've got her some stuff. Um, I have some stuff for P. So the first thing that I got is her Christmas jumper for next year. I really wanted four to five, but they didn't have any four to five at all. I ended up going at half eight at night. So I think if I went a lot earlier, then they would have had some stuff, but I didn't realize the sale was going live. And obviously I had work, so. Um, this should have been £11, it got reduced, where's the sticker, P's been at this one, I've got another one for Evie, so I think it got reduced to 3 30 yeah, um, so this is in the 3 to 4 it's got a unicorn, it's not my normal style, but I quite like it and P loved it, so she was really happy with that, so that's her Christmas jumper for next year, um, and then I also got her this beautiful cardigan, because I just loved this, um, and P experiencing nursery this year with Christmas jumper day and wearing something for her nativity I'm really glad that I got them the year before um I don't know if it changes within reception because she'll be in reception next Christmas um so I like to have like one jumper one cardigan and then she can wear them throughout the entire month not obviously just for like a week or a day um so this should have been 13 pounds and it went down to three pounds 90 and i love this one it's got little gingerbread men and hearts and it's quite like is the word fair isle i don't know i just really really like it and it's navy and the arms seem slightly longer in this one uh, so again in the three to four and i think it's beaut so p and evie are actually going to be matching next year because they've got exactly the same um, for the baby, I picked this little romper up. Uh, they did have a My First Christmas one, but I just preferred this one. It's a little zip with a little reindeer on it. And it's got little, um, it's footless. 
uh, sleep suit. So the baby will be eight months, I think, at Christmas time. I know I got this in the three to six. Um, if the baby fits in it, the baby fits in it. If it doesn't, I'll sell it at a mum sale or sell it on eBay or something like that. And it is what it is. I just have to cut my losses. Um, I, it should have been £7, cost me £2.10. I don't think any of my friends will be having children anytime soon. But if they are and this doesn't fit my baby, then I can obviously gift it on. Um, so I really like that. They didn't have it in a bigger size. But because the feet are cut out, I don't think it matters too much. So I grabbed that what else did i get if the baby is slightly bigger um and in sort of bigger clothes than what p was i'm going off of what p was and p was a very small baby and i got a lot of wear out of her clothes it might be a separate case for this one i don't know um i got this t-shirt it was only a pound which is why i got it in nine to twelve should have been 350 like i said got reduced to a pound it's got a like little robins on it wearing a little Christmas hat so I absolutely love that so eight months nine to twelve potentially roll the sleeves up should be fine <laughs> um this is the problem with shopping in sales uh and I've got a few little bits for uh, in a minute I'll show you but for Ellie I got this one for her um it's in the three to four the price massively jumped up should have been eight pounds that can't be right no it shouldn't have been eight pounds that's not right it should have been four pounds ignore this it should have been four pounds and it got reduced to two pounds forty that is that right 240 i don't know i have to check the receipt um either way i'm now blurry there we go um she's got that um no i need to check the receipt for that um she's also got what is going on with my camera focus on what i'm doing Ruth, stop chewing my tree um evie's got the same jumper in two to three uh i've got this for elliot because ellie really likes these excited elf this is a bag so it comes with the tartan bottoms she wanted it in the one and a half to two he is now in six to nine and he'll be one in july um should have been seven pounds got reduced to two pounds ten for a pair of pajamas christmas ones i think it's really cheap um christmas jumper in one to one and a half eleven pounds down to three pounds thirty she really likes that so i grabbed that for her um, and then finally she also wanted some pyjama bottoms for herself that she couldn't find. So I got those for her and they've got like little Christmases and nutcrackers and soldiers and stuff on. And they should have been £10 and then they went down to 3 There we go. So I quite like those. Quite cool. I just prefer bottoms to be cuffed as opposed to like a wide leg. Um, so that's what I've got and then just a few little extra bits for uh, Christmas stocking next year or Christmas Eve basket I'm not 100% sure um, I grabbed P these little socks 450 down to £1.35 for five pairs so you've got a snowman nice little like spotty snow print um, Father Christmas stripy pair and then little reindeers i really liked those and p doesn't really have any festive socks like this uh shoe size 9 to 12 so they will fit her definitely next year because she's now currently about to go into a size 8 infant so that will fit her fine uh, and then for the baby i just got these for her stocking because i'm sure we're going to need them nine months will still be like weaning or purees or i can't even remember definitely like purees potentially lumpy purees um was 450 down to one pound 30 and they've got little christmasy prints on so that's just a little extra for her stocking um and then i got these socks but i've got a feeling i've got the wrong size I, it feels like a lifetime ago for me when i got all this sort of stuff um it's just really hard to get my head around it 
So they had 0 to 2 size and then this size. But the 0 to 2 was like 0 to 6 months and then this size, reading it, says 12 to 24. So whether this will be for next Christmas or her second Christmas, which is 2021. I don't know, regardless, I've got a three pack of socks. Was four pounds down to 120. And you've got little robins, reindeers. They're really thick and fluffy. Uh, or like, not fluffy, like spongy. And little elf design. And I really like those. So again, Christmas Eve basket or stocking or whatever. Whenever they come out, we've got those. So I'm now going to wrap up this video. Put my files on the laptop. Finish watching The Crown. Nails finishing, wrapping up my Christmas presents and then we are pretty much done. Um, I need to edit this and get that all sorted because I'm not going to have time tomorrow because we've got a busy day doing the panto. We are going to go take Paige to see Father Christmas. We're going to go out for lunch in the city because Nails got this entire week off, which will be nice. So busy, busy, busy. I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Again, like always, couldn't tell you what I got up to. Um, I can't believe when you're watching this, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Can't, can't get over it. Feels like a lifetime ago I started Vlogmas, but on the flip side, it also feels like just yesterday that it was like P's birthday. I can't believe I'm in my third trimester. <laughs> oh dear me. Anyway, I'm going to go and I will see you all in the morning for a fun festive day. I'm really looking forward to it.